Hello, boys and girls. My name is John. I'm with Watcon.com, Rock County Jet Ski. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. On today's video, I want to talk a little bit about flywheels and the importance of lapping a flywheel to your crankshaft. Um, so I, I want to talk about, uh, um, first we'll, we'll talk about uh, uh, the flywheel. The flywheel fit to a crankshaft is an inner, inner I can't speak today, inner, uh, in, uh, interference fit. <laughs> there, spit it out. Duh. Um, it's, it's a tapered. And, and this is a taper and it goes on and when you torque it down it gets wedged on there is some misconceptions that I see all the time on the internet talking about a flywheel key and the flywheel key shearing and it being weak and blah 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 the flywheel key does not hold the flywheel it does not keep the flywheel from turning the flywheel key is only there for flywheel orientation and timing of the flywheel to the crankshaft what holds the flywheel on is the, the, the torque of the flywheel and the, the difference in the taper. You're, you're torquing it onto the taper and it gets wedged. Um, if a flywheel key shears, usually that is because your flywheel came loose and, and started to, to wobble and, and sheared the key. Um, so with that, it is important to lap your flywheel, we call it, lap the flywheel to the crankshaft. Um, I, I went out in the shed and I just picked out a, a nasty core engine that we have here with a core crankshaft and I picked up an old junky flywheel and, and we're going to lap um, a flywheel to the, to the crankshaft and we'll show you uh, how to do it and what you want to look for and, and how clean it is when you're done. So uh, I just use regular valve lapping compound. You can buy this at uh, any automotive store. And um, you just put a little on your on your finger and put it on. It's it's very gritty. It's like toothpaste, kind of very very much like sand in there. So you just kind of smear it around, right? I'm gonna put some in here. I don't know that there's, you know, it's not like you can have too much. It doesn't hurt, so I've got it in there. You put your flywheel on, and and you just do this. And and as you do that, it will it will sand the flywheel to the crankshaft. So with that, um, I'm gonna get lapping on this, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, and I've been lapping, 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 and um, what we're going to do now is I take a little brake cleaner, and we'll just clean it. And of course, I pick one of the worst looking crankshafts in the shed, but that's okay. And, and I just wanted to show how, um, how clean this will. You can see it's all sanded very clean. And very even now, and I'm going to wipe inside the flywheel. And you can see how much better that is. And now the surface is ultra clean, um, and the surfaces are going to match, and you're going to get full contact all the way around, in and out, all, all the way. So when you, when you put it on, you're getting maximum contact for maximum stick. So I hope you get the idea with that when we talk about lapping a flywheel. I hope you found that 
valuable. If you, if you do, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. We sure appreciate it. It helps our channel grow. When you're out and about, please be nice to everybody out there. It's a crazy world. Um, get working on your ski, and the next time, we'll see you out on the water.